Our universe is a collection of complex intricate matter. For millions of years, humans have been getting fascinated by looking at the night sky and taking the stars as tiny particles hanging in the sky. People wrote poetry, saw them as a symbol of romance. But they were actually a whole universe. These were gigantic balls of fire, rocks and meteoroids which was not discovered until the latest invention of modern telescopes. The sky, the space, a home to millions of galaxies, stars, meteoroids and many unknown and unrevealed celestial objects. Our star, the sun, is so much bigger as compared to the earth that almost 1.3 million planet earths can fit inside the sun. Then there are even mightier stars and millions of galaxies. This is just a summarized picture of the idea of the size of this universe. In this age of modern and advanced physics and astronomy, it's not a secret that how small we are in this universe. A nebula is a star nursery in the outer space where new stars are being born. Orion Nebula is one of them. The word nebula comes from old German term nebul, which means mist or cloud. Hello everyone, this video is all about Orion Nebula and some interesting facts about this wonder of God's creation. The Orion Nebula is a cloud of smoke in the outer space which is a nursery to new stars. It is also given the name of Star Factory. It is a diffuse nebula situated in the Milky Way galaxy. Orion is one of the brightest nebulae. It is also known as M42 or Messier 42. The Orion Nebula can be seen with the naked eye and it's even more noticeable through the binoculars. This video covers two basic topics related to Orion. Number one, how can you find it in the night sky? And number two, the beautiful science behind this beautiful creation of God in this complex gigantic universe. First of all, let's talk about the composition and creation of nebula. Nebula majorly consists of dust with light gases like hydrogen, helium and other gases. These clumps of dust and gas eventually mix together to form stars. That's why it is called a star nursery or star factory. So, let's find out, how can you locate Orion at night sky? To locate Orion Nebula, you have to locate Orion constellation first. The best times to locate the Orion Nebula is at Southern Hemisphere in summers and at Northern Hemisphere in winters. The best times to locate the Orion Nebula are the months of December and January. You being at the areas of Northern Hemisphere like Sweden, Norway 
etc. See high at the sky on the southern hemisphere and you can locate it very easily. You being at a county at midnight with a clear sky, these months are special for the purpose because the higher the constellation is in the sky, the better vision we can get. Another time, people notice Orion is around the months of August and September when this constellation appears in the east before dawn. Now that you got the right time, let's go for the coordinates. Locate the Orion belt, the three medium bright stars, in a short straight row known as Orion's belt. A curved line of stars hanging from Orion belt make the Orion sword. Locate bright Orion nebula about midway down the sword of Orion. You will see four bright stars in the shape of trapezium, which is the core of the nebula. The beautiful signs behind the fascinating Orion Nebula. The basic features. The Hubble telescope took this image which is sharpest of all taken till now. This is a collection of 520 sharp shots taken of the nebula. In this video we will use this image to explain the basic features of Orion Nebula. Number 1. The Size Orion is almost 1500 light years away from Earth. In the night sky, it can occupy a region of two full moons. As I told you in the start that Orion is a diffuse nebula, which means it diffuses its matter away from its center. Given that the nebula does not have a specific shape or boundary. Moving away from center, its density decreases and its approximate radius is about 12 light years. Didn't get a clear picture of its size? Yeah, I hope so. To understand it even clear, let's have a simple elaboration. For comparison, the distance between Earth and Sun is just 8 light minutes and the distance between the Sun and our last planet Pluto is 5 light hours while the Orion is 1500 light years away. Whereas for those of you who don't know it, one light year is the distance that the light travels in one year. Now you can make a solid guess of how large this nebula is and it's even expanding now. What does the colors of nebula say about its size? The brightest area in the nebula are composed of hydrogen and helium which are excited by the radiations from the stars that are generated inside it. The radiation of these stars give this nebula a reddish color. The blue areas in the nebula reflect the radiations and look blue. This is just like the reason our own sky looks blue because it reflects the ultraviolet radiations of the sun out of the earth. The stars of Orion Orion is a home to almost 5000 stars. It has a star regal which is the seventh brightest star in our night sky and the brightest of Orion. It is assumed to be 200,000 times more luminous than sun and has a radius 
hundred times more than sun. The four bright stars in the center of the nebula give the shape to Orion. This nexus of four bright stars gives it the name Trapezium. The Trapezium, named after the nexus of four bright stars of Orion Nebula, is the core of Orion and it illuminates the nebula. The age of these four trapezium stars is just around a million years old, which is very small as compared to billions of years of age of this universe. And even it is very small as compared to the lifetime of stars. Besides, God knows how many stars are hidden behind this cluster of nebula cloud which are hidden from our eyes and the eyes of Hubble telescope. Being a star factory, it is quite possible that there are thousands of stars being born and there are thousands of stars that exist behind that cloud. Scientists and astronomers have also observed the birth of planetary systems around these stars. This planetary system is recognized as dark disks encircling the stars, which means the planets in making. According to the American Space Research Institute, NASA, our planetary system was probably formed from such dark planetary disks some 4.5 billion years ago. So, these were some interesting facts about the Orion Nebula and the science behind this beautiful creation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share. And please give us your valuable feedback in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for more. Thanks for watching.